Why do my eyes keep staring ahead? Why do the zombies rise in the red? Why don't you turn round, realize the ups down, see that the storm clouds reflect my mind now? Why we wanted to break the notion of the Qantas choir or something like that by having this absolutely beautiful sound that's able to cut into the lives of, of people um, from all different parts of Australia. It came about when I was in the studio with the Cat Empire in 2014 and I received a phone call from Lynn Williams and she wanted me to compose a song cycle for the Gondwana Indigenous Children's Choir in the Pilbara. And over the span of about four and a half years she kept on returning and writing music. The Spin Effects Come was the kind of project that I could have never kind of um, predicted. And it became an album and now it's become a festival show and uh, yeah, a, a very unique project. The sound of Malia is like a choir that I've never heard before and I'm absolutely thrilled with. There's a great richness and a, and a warmth of tone and a, a depth because there's an understanding when they're singing spin effects gum of the issues that are behind a lot of the song. That brings a special quality to the sound as well. I didn't set out to make a political album, but we went to the area and there were some things I couldn't ignore writing about. Miss you, died too young, 22, when they carried her like a dead kangaroo. Found myself back to the same hospital, who assumed that the pain must be invisible. You know, I heard about the story of Miss Jew when we were on, over there with the choir and it was impossible to ignore because I was with those young women. <laughs> All this terrible stuff still happening in 2018. I think it's important that we share it with everybody. Yeah, they're more than just songs. They're actually um, some people's daily lives. A tune can get stuck in your head and you can just repeat the words over to yourself and you're like, oh my gosh, you think about the lyrics, this is crazy. Yeah. They put our kids in the system, findings, reports and royal commissions. I've always felt like music has been the best uh, medium for translating protests. We did it in Melbourne and I don't think there was a dry eye in the house. This shame is all of us. This justice isn't just. This town's not adding up. Let's go. As adults we can sort of sound like a broken record. But I think as soon as you see a young person say something, it switches a light on. So I think that's the power that they have at the moment that they don't realise that they have. Oh we got to work with Peter Garrett and he is amazing. We all got on the bus and like, so who's your favourite artist? We're like, Peter Garrett. Oh. Felix has had probably the most impact, like he's really made this all happen for us and he's really excited, like even more excited than we are, like although we're like really stoked about all of this, he's yeah, just he's really got this going. In the end, it's, it's always been the part of their voice and their characters and, and the experience I've had with them that's, that's been the driving force of this album. In the end, it is really is about the experience of these young singers. And, and they've also given us the courage in a way to be as political as we have been at certain points, but also to be as kind of celebrating of, of youth. They're an incredible group of young, young singers that have, that have been a real inspiration to work with. Why don't you step back, money that when we come together and sing, it's just, it's just meant to be. We just think that we're just a normal, random like choir. Yeah, teenagers just travelling to Melbourne and Adelaide to sing. But it's a bit bigger than that. It's more than that. <laughs>